Coverage you can count on continues with all you need to know. Terre Haute City Council voted unanimously to approve rezoning of a property on the city's east side. And that will allow Churchill Downs to build on that location. Staff within Churchill Downs say they want to break ground for the casino in the month of May, and it would open by the end of 2023. Churchill Downs is now awaiting approval from the FAA for the height of the hotel. It's also awaiting approval from the Indiana Gaming Commission on that new location. Well, now to the latest in Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Russian troops began shelling Europe's largest nuclear plant on Friday, sparking a fire in one of the facility's six reactors. An official at the plant in the south of Ukraine says the reactor is under renovation and not operating, but there was a nuclear fuel inside. That fire has been put out. So far, there have been no reported changes in radiation levels around the plant. Indiana Governor Eric Holcomb has ended the current public health emergency for COVID-19. It was set to expire tomorrow. Indiana lawmakers gave final approval to make that move yesterday. And happening today, the Vigo County Health Department has another vaccination clinic. It'll be held at the White House Mission. A question and answer session kicks things off at 9 o'clock this morning. The clinic will follow. Tomorrow, another clinic will be held at the Meadows Shopping Center. This will be from noon to 3. And don't forget, you can always find more vaccine opportunities by visiting vaccines.gov. Well, crime news now. Two people have been arrested in connection with several thefts. Those happened at cemeteries in Greene County. Amanda and Phyllis Porter were arrested. The women also had warrants out for their arrest in multiple counties. One woman told News 10 that she and 20 other people had items stolen from grave sites. A case is still under investigation. Meanwhile, discussions continue on renovations for some Vigo County schools. The school corporation's steering committee met with architectural firms yesterday. The committee heard presentations on potential renovations at Woodrow Wilson Middle School. The renovations will focus on the cafeteria, media center, and entryway. And this would be similar to work recently competed, completed, I should say, at Otter Creek Middle School. Renovations and upgrades are contingent upon the successful passing of a referendum in the month of May. Happening today, the Loyal Veterans Battalion is helping out those in need. 100 backpacks will be available for riders of Terre Haute City buses. Those backpacks are filled with clothing and food. This is part of Free Bus Ride Friday. If you'd like to join the giveaway, the battalion will be meeting at the bus station at 930 this morning. Mostly sunny to begin the day, and we're going to be a little bit warmer as well with temperatures in the mid-50s, but late in the afternoon, cloud cover is going to pass through here, perhaps interfering with some sunlight, making you less comfortable outside. The thing is, our temperatures, you know, they're still in the mid-50s, so it's not going to be uh, terribly cold for March, but as we move through the night tonight, you'll notice that our temperatures are not really dropping at all. We're going to drop into the mid-40s, which is, you know, normal for an afternoon high this part of the year and we're gonna see our temperatures drop down to that level tonight with mostly cloudy skies keeping temperatures the same giving us a higher place for our temperatures to bounce back from tomorrow leading to temperatures in the lower 70s it's going to be very warm uh, sunny conditions strong winds up to 40 miles an hour bringing in warmer air very spring like before a chance of rain tomorrow night and then sunday another chance of rain through early tomorrow morning